Okay, welcome back. We go to the 2.5 tutorial lesson. Okay, this one is the objective answer you can check here. So I want to discuss is a structure question. Okay, we go through to the question 15. Okay, question 15, they show about one diagram. There's a heater, immersion heater. Uh, the specification, there's a 240 volt and the power is a 1000 watt. Okay, now, the one suitable material to be used to heating the element. So the element normally we need to use it is a high resistance. So normally for the heater, we're using nichrome. Nichrome is a poor, con uh, there's a poor conductor. The resistance should be the high. Okay, another one, remember, for your bulb, the filament is it for the bulb. Okay, this one is a bulb, I got one filament. Okay, this one we're using is a tungsten. Okay, remember the name. So this one is a tungsten for the heater, for the kettle, or for your the thick bath one, the heater. That one we're using is a nichrome. Okay, so from here, the answer for A is a nichrome. So I just write. R O M E, okay, nichrome. Then following B, the immersion heater they connected to the 240 volt. Okay, now the first one. They want you to calculate the current pass through the heater. So current, we're just using V equal IR. Okay, the current. Okay, sorry, we cannot use V equal IR because we don't know the R is how many. So we need to using the power because we provide the power. So we're using the equation B, P equal V I. P equal VI. Okay, so P is a thousand. So I we do know two for O. So we find it the current is uh four point one seven. Four point one seven ampere for heater element. Okay, now immersion heater they need to find the resistance. So from here normally we can use in current now, but the question is asked about the resistance. If you don't want to use in current, it's okay. Because the current you find it, if you find wrong, that means the following also wrong. So we just ignore the current. We're using a formula without current. Okay, C. Is this C? Oh, that's a number two. Okay, number two is P equal V squared over R. Okay, when you want to find the resistance. So from here, 1000. Okay, 240 square. Then you need to find is a R. So I find it the ohm for the heating element is a 57.6 ohm. Okay, 0.6 ohm. So this one is a resistor for the heating element. Okay, now we continue with C. C, they say a student, they conduct experiment. To compare the heating effect for the immersion heater, we got P, Q and also R. Now the volume of the initial temperature of the water is a fix. Okay, they're using the same volume. So 8.1, the result they show for the experiment. Okay, first one, potential different. They give you potential different. Everyone should be the same. The current different. Okay, then the time taken, they're using by minutes. Okay, you need to convert to second later. Okay, so this one is the information. Now, first one, state the energy change that occur when the immersion is switched on. So all from here, immersion, when it just switch on, okay, what changes? So we know the energy changes. First one, sure, is the electrical energy. So electrical energy just convert. So what they, what they change it? Because this one all is a heater. So we need is a electrical change to the heat energy. So you just write electrical energy, then convert to heat energy. So this one is the energy changes. Okay, number two, calculate the energy supply for every immersion, heater, PQ, and also R, start to boiling the water. So we need to count. Okay, every heater, they're using how many energy to boil the water. So the time taken to start to boil, they already provided. So we need to find one by one. Okay, after we count, then the following question to ask, which one you want to choose. Okay, now we do the question number two first. One by one. Okay, we're using the formula should be the VIT because here provided already. Now we count for the P, Q, and also the R. You just apply. Remember, just convert the minute become the second. So from here, I straightforward give you the answer for P, Q, and also the R. Okay, P, we get it. Q is 
uh, the answer is 7.2 Fajo Okay, and the last one is a R. R, I get it, 5.18. Times 10, power of 5, jo. Okay, so this one is a result for the energy. We use it to boil the water until the water can, that can be boiled. So from here, number 3, using your answer in this one. So which one immersion heater is the most suitable to heat the water? Give your reason. So which one we want to choose? Okay, normally we choose this use the less energy that can, can boil the water that one is what we want so from here we sure we choose is a heater r okay so your answer number three is a heater r then the reason why because use less energy to boil the water so that one is the answer okay we're using less energy after that i can boil the water so that means you are save the money okay so this one is the answer for number three Okay, now we go to the 16. Okay, 16, the figure they show the kettle connected with the 240 volt power supply okay, by the flexible cable. The kettle is red. Okay, kettle red, lah, 240 volt. After that, 2500 watt. Okay, now they show you the kettle diagram. Okay, the table below, they show the maximum electric current that is able to flow through the wires with the various of diameter. Okay, this one question never asking heating element. They say wires. So make sure you make the differences. Huh? For the heating element, I need high resistance. For the wire, actually, I don't want. Okay, actually, I want low resistance for the wire because I don't want too much current to pass through. Okay, so from here, uh, we're going to see the table first. They give you the different diameter of the wire. Okay, then also give you the maximum current pass through the wire. Normally, the wire, we don't want too large current to pass through. Okay, so from here, depends lah. We also, you say cannot too much current, but we need to depend the voltage and also the power. Okay, sure the thickness must be higher already. Don't want too thin one. Now, we're going to see the A. What is the current flow through the cable? So current flow through the cable is depends for the power. We cannot say, oh, we do want current, cannot. So you depend the power is how many. After that, we're going to choose the diameter. Okay, now we answer the A first. Okay, A they provided is uh, 240 volt, 2500 watt. So we're using the formula P equal VI. 240 then the I. So I need to find the current first. I find it as a 10.42. Okay, so then this one is a current that pass through the uh, wire, go through the kettle. Okay, so the next one, refer the table. Then they ask you, uh, what is the smallest of the diameter of the wire that can be safely to be used for this one kettle? Okay, my current is 10.42. So that means you choose which one diameter you want to use. Normally, the current is high already. So you can find which one wire they can support it. Okay, must be over the 10, 10 ampere. Is it? You cannot say you choose the 10 ampere. If you choose the 10 ampere, that means you choose 1 mm. That means this one already over 10 ampere. That means your wire cannot support. So from here, we choose is a slightly a little bit more. That's a 13. Okay, more than 10. That's a 13 ampere, the nearest one. So I want to choose is a 1.2. 1.20 mm. Okay, I want to choose 1.20 mm. The following question they will ask. Explain why. Why that's a dangerous? If you use a wire thinner than the one you selected. Okay, example, I don't want to use 1.2. I'm using 1. I'm using 0 0.8. Why? Why cannot? Okay, now we need to explain. Why cannot using the thinner one? So from here, you must relate it with the resistance. Why we want to use in the thick one. So from here, the first one, you must say relationship with the resistance and also diameter. That means the thickness of the wire. Thickness wire become thin, that means your resistance should be high. Okay, resistance high, what happened? Resistance high for this situation, that means your current must be overcome here, is it? When the current will be overcome here, they produce a heat energy. Remember the heater. So if you produce more heat energy for the wire, finally the wire cannot support because there's a two thin. Then finally what happened? Dangerous, the fire. Okay, they will happen the fire. So from here we need to explain why we need to choose the wire is thicker a little bit. Do one two thin. Okay, I will write the answer here. 
Okay, everyone, let's see the answer here. First one, you need to show what the re relationship for the resistance and also the surface area. So there's an inversely proportional. So from here, the thinner the wires, they have the high resistance. So the second one, you must say the wire will produce more heat. High resistance produce more heat when the current pass through. So from here, this will cause the fire to break up. So that's why for the heater, we need the heat energy. So that's why the heater normally is very thick one. You see the wire, there's a very thick one. So after that, the, no, no thick one. That means we see the wire should be the thin one. After that, they produce a high resistance. Thin one means inside you cannot see. You see it's an overall. Suppose inside there's a thin one metal, small metal. After that, the resistance should be high. After that, you can see there's a coin. Coin wire. Why you cannot make longer? Longer that means you don't have any space. So from here, they make coin. Coin means first one, the wire long already. When wire become longer, after that resistance also is high. So from here, they make coin, so make the wire become longer. So they want to in increase the resistance. Okay, the wire, they might using the thin wire because you using the thick wire, that means your resistance also is uh, low. So I'm using the thin wire. After that, the wire, you cannot see, there's just a one plate. Okay, there's a one plate. That, that not same the wire as you go to plug in. No, that is not. Same wire. They're using the material. That should be the thin material. Okay, now we're going to see the C. State one precaution. Okay, measure uh, the precautionary measure that should be taken to ensure that the safe usage of the cattle. So normally you can think lah, which one should be the uh, safe one. We're using the generate uh, general one. Do not operate the cattle with the wet hat. This one is a one general. Do not using your hand is a wet, after that bare hand, after that you go to on the switch. This one is a one general precaution. Okay, then we go to D. Mention one fault that might be happened in the cable that will cause the fuse plug to be melt. What situation you can make the fuse to melt? Okay, so you need to say about the one fault that might be happen. Ah. So if they melt, what happened? So from here, we need to write the answer is what happened, what you do for the fuse to melt, then what situation you can do the fuse to melt. Okay, after the fuse melt, then what happened? So I write the answer here. Okay, come we check the answer. Okay, what should be happen? Short circuit, that might be occur. If the insulating material of the wires in the cable are damaged. So this one, when the field just melt, this all thing, the material of the wire in the cable, they will damage. Finally, the short circuit will be happen. So the whole house, they will break, break out. So then you need to on back about your fields, uh, about your switch, uh, the switch will be dropped, then after that you need to on back. So that one we call short circuits. Okay, now we continue with question seven, 17. Okay, 17 also is a one calculation. They show you the table for the electrical appliances are used in one month. Okay, table already show in one month. Okay, we got air conditioner, we got power heater, we got refrigerator. Okay, rating already given, time also in hour. So from here, the first question, they ask, what mean by labor 240 and 4 kilowatt? So from here, you write yourself. I don't want to mention the answer. I think you know already. Okay, so from here, you need to find the table. 4 kilowatt is what? 4 kilowatt from here is a water heater. Now your object is water heater. Okay, so you write yourself. I also don't want to answer. Okay, I straightforward go to B1. Okay, B1 is what is a suitable fuse. It's used to the refrigerator. So they ask about the fuse, you must know the current first. So we do the calculation. Okay, let's see the B. B they want to find is a fuse, is it? So we find the current first. 4000 VI. So we find the current is a 4.17 ampere. So 4.17 ampere, so we choose which type of the fuse. We choose is a 5 ampere fuse. So your answer is a 5 ampere fuse. Okay, we need to use it as a 5 ampere fuse. Okay, now you give the reason. Why you want to choose a 5 ampere fuse? So your answer should be the fuse you want to use must be a little bit slightly. The current must be a little bit slightly more than the current flow through the circuit. Okay, so we just write here.
Okay, let's see the answer. Fuse current must slightly greater. You must write this word. Slightly greater than the current flow through the circuit. Okay, then we go to the last question. C. Okay, C also is a calculation. Okay, you want to calculate the electrical energy consumption. Okay, now we go and see the, the, the table. They give you first 100 unit, 20 cent. Next 100 unit is a 23 cent. And over 200 unit. So that means you are over 200 unit, then you need to count to 25 cent. Okay, now you need to base on the table, calculate the cost for one month. Okay, one month means the table already is one month. You don't need to multiply 30. You just count here total kilowatt hour you use. After that, you just calculate the cost. Okay, please try your answer. Later, I show you total is how many. Hi, everyone. We're going to see the last question. So from here, I do the calculation for the every uh, the appliances for the one month. They're using how many energy? So the first one, acorn, I find it, that's a 200 kilowatt hour. For the heater, that's a 80. Then the last one for the refrigerator, that's a 200. Then I go to total. Total, I get it the 480 kilowatt hour. Okay, so from here, I need to count about the cost. So they say first 100, they're using is every unit 20 cents. So I already over the first 100. So I take out 100. So I take out 100 to do the calculation. That's a 20 cents. So the first 100 you need to pay is 20 ringgit first. Then the following another 100. So another 100 I also over. So from here I take another 100. I need to calculate by 23 cents. So I get it is 23 ringgit. Okay, so the following 200 unit. Over 200 unit. That means you over this 200 unit. So you need to count is a 25 cent. So the rest they never say. Just you over 200, then everyone you count for 25 cent. So I over 200 how many? I take 480, I minus 200, I still got 280. So I take all the 280 to multiply uh, 25 cent. Finally, that's a 70. So from here, I need to total. After total, I need to know for this month, I need to pay how much. So the answer should be RM 113. Okay, so this one is how to count about the cost rate for the electric bill. Okay, I think that's a no problem for you all, is it? Then just a normal calculation. Okay, so we finish for the chapter 2 until 2.5. So you can do the revision. So the coming soon should be the chapter 3 already. That's the electromagnetism. Electromagnetism, uh, I can tell you there's a less for calculation than there's a concept. So every time they ask about the four mark process question, they will ask about the chapter 3 for the form 5. Because you need to explain the process. And you need to using your finger, left and also right finger, the hand, to show the answer. Because we cannot do calculation, we're just using the hand to show the direction. Okay, the one is talking about chapter 3, electromagnetism. So thank you everyone. So we finish the lesson. Thank you.